This is a 1993 Easy Go Marathon all steel body last year that they made that before they switched to fiberglass. So this will apply to this year and years prior to that that have this set up with this uh, type of looking cart before they switch to the fiberglass body. I wanted to upgrade to lithium batteries to get away from the old lead acid batteries. One for safety and two for uh, additional speed because of the uh, weight reduction. So I started looking on Amazon to try to find a battery that would fit in here. And all the ones I found seemed a bit too wide and a, little, with a bit too long for this setup. Uh, and I'll show you why. Uh, the Easy Goes of 1993 and prior, they had the speed controller and the uh, solenoid dead centered in the, in the battery area. So you'd have three batteries like this over on this side and three batteries over on the other side. So all this is kind of in the way for a longer battery back in here. That's what was the original plan to put something back there. So my idea was I was gonna unbolt that from there uh, weld in a new bracket here and then cut this rod right here which is your gas pedal and shorten the length of that and try to move all this up to make room back here for a, a longer wider battery. Well I kept looking on Amazon then I came across this Repower Flow 38.4 uh, 16 amp hour battery with dimensions that fit basically in two uh, six volt uh, uh, the bay for two six volt batteries so and not much wider than a six volt is and, and definitely not as long as you can see it in there so i decided to go with this and give it a try and it's worked out great so here's what i've done uh, to make the battery a little safer and not ride on just those metal brackets like that i put a uh, piece of three quarter inch plywood under there uh, cut cut to the width of the battery and then the length about uh, 20 and a half inches or so uh, that you can fudge on a little bit and basically that piece of wood goes on this top piece here and then to the back bracket. So you get a little bit, a lot more uh, even weight distribution for the battery and it's not biting in on the battery on these, just the edge of the brackets like that. And like I said, it's blocked in the front and blocked in the back to keep it going uh, forward and backwards. And then with the uh, supplied strap that they give you, strap that down and that thing is rock solid. Um, I put the, put the strap over on this side so it wouldn't be in the way of the controller, which is usually covered up. I've got that uncovered uh, for this demo. Uh, so yeah, definitely definitely um, put the bracket on that side, cut, cut the strap for what I didn't need and just kind of tied it down there. So now that, now that I've got this, I've got a 36 volt, 136 volt, and I've gone from six batteries that were 62 pounds a piece to this battery which i believe is about 44 pounds and of course i've also put the charger on board which is another couple of pounds at most that fits just on this side here so i just uh, mounted that in there and then that runs up with a cord to it and then i use the original area where the original anderson plug was for this the square plug and then just use my saw saw and cut it out and made it round so I could, uh, about two inches in diameter, I believe it was, so I could fit that new plug in there. And it's um, it's a little tight against this bracket here. A little tight right there. So a little bit of daylight shows in there where the uh, the old square was, but it doesn't look too bad once it's installed there. And you know, without cutting up the card anymore, I got, got that installed there. All right, so, and of course I run a lot of 12 volt accessories <clears throat> and I used to just tie into two of the six volts to make 12 volts. But now with just the 36 volts, I had to uh, uh, put in the reducer. So I, I bought a uh, 36 volt to 12 volt reducer. So I can drop it down for all my 12 volt accessories. Because I have things like uh, a stereo system and lighting and, the, and that kind of stuff. And of course the, uh, the interface to um, to check and monitor your batteries uh, comes with, mounted in this bracket. And I didn't need this because I have a dash. This is just easily glued in there with some sealant. Comes out very easy. Just uh, use a straight edge and you can kind of cut it loose. And then I use this area as a perfect template to put the monitoring system into the dash. Turn it on. Go at 100%. So nice clean installation on that. And again, this is um, a Repower Flow 38.4 60 amp hour that'll definitely fit in a 93 Easy Go or earlier models. 
that have the speed controller and the solenoid and of course the uh, the rod for your gas pedal dead center there and if, if, if you don't want to cut this up and move this you can make this work and with the additional space you have here you can also make room for an additional battery if you want longer run time so you do have enough room for two batteries on there I've mounted mine on the passenger side because I'm usually just the only one in the cart driving. So I put it on that side for weight distribution. And like I said, it went from six, six batteries at 62 pounds a piece to one battery at 44 pounds a piece. Um, speed increase somewhere between three and four miles per hour and in a nice steady flow. Doesn't drop off like a lead acid battery does. Um, great for climbing hills, level surface. It goes about, um, 18 miles per hour now. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed it.